These are the adventures of the wreck ship Incompetence. Its season-long mission to explore new lands and capture new Pokémon. To boldly go where no trainer has gone before. Oh no, it's quicksand. That's quicksand. That is quicksand. Dig, 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 dig. I'm a little bit of an idiot. It's fine. People have got me raging in the comments. Oh no, you totally just ruined. I was gonna rhyme. I was going to say I'm gonna make an iron pick real quick. That rhymes. Yeah, good job. And you, yeah, thank you. So is that your like preferred method of suicide SPG? Just hugging a cactus? I drowned at one point, but I've come to the conclusion that's too slow for my life to make. Join our brave and clueless crew on its adventures in Pixel League Season 2. All right, welcome back to Pixel League. So I did a little bit of training of Luxio off camera. So we now have 255 attack EVs, 255 speed EVs. I was going to put the, I was I really was going to do 252, 252, and then put the other four points into a different stat. I was trying to find Geodude and stuff for defense, and I just said, ah, oh, screw it. I've been EV training for like the last 45 minutes. I'm not going to deal with it, deal with it anymore. So I just put the extra EV stats back into attack and speed. It's still pretty good. It gets me all the points I can possibly get, and I think if there's an there's currently a rounding issue in Pixelmon where that actually gets you an extra point anyway. So that'll be fine. And so we got Magikarp with us. So this is our shiny Magikarp, which only knows Splash right now. So I'm going to be EV training that eventually, but I don't think I'm going to today. I need to comp I need to build the rest of my team. So, two other members of my team need a Gengar, and I need a Volcarona. Those are the two that I've kind of decided on, and then I'm going to work on figuring out really good ones. I'm pretty sure Croc Crocodile is another one, but I need to find a Desert M biome, which I've yet to be able to find, so I can't find Kukoroks. There may actually be one near Spawn. There was enough desert stuff near Spawn. So, for right now, I'm going to actually look for the Volcarona. And I'm back after I hit the stupid record button instead of the throw Kiwi out button. That was brilliant of me. Anyway, heading to spawn because there was a whole bunch of deserts that way. And I don't actually think I have spawn marked on my map. I know it's this way, though. And so we'll head out to towards spawn, and then we can uh, get Volcaronas. I've got plenty of Pokeballs to get. What the hell was that? that there was something yellow. And I wasn't sure. Oh, that's was it the lava? Oh, it was a Pikachu. Okay. And uh, I'm sitting here, like, peeling my eyes for shinies ever since I found the Golden Magikarp. Um, so we need to look for a Desert M, because that's the only place we're going to get Crocodiles. And then we need Desert Hills to find Volcaronas. So if we can get Larvesta and get it trained up into a Volcarona, we need to catch a whole bunch of them to get one with a good nature. So I'm just going to kind of go crazy catching them today. And I think Larvesta is actually a fairly easy catch rate, so I think that'll be a good chance of getting one. Uh, Larvesta. Oh, it's a 6% catch rate. Not great. Oh, and the other thing I noticed when I was checking out the stats, so Magikarp is what I would be training into speed and attack EVs. It turns out attack and speed are the worst IVs it has, so it's going to be a little bit of an uphill battle with our shiny Magikarp, but I think he's work, um, worth it. Alright, so I think I'm just going to cut until when I get back to spawn, because the desert is quite a ways away. There's little minor beaches and stuff in the way, but I'm going to have to do a little bit of traveling, so I'll be back. Alright, welcome back. We have gotten back to spawn. It took me forever to find it. And so now I know that we need to either find a dry river or desert M. And those are the two places where I would find a sand dial spawning. So I think, since this island is entirely composed of deserty biomes, I'll run into one of the two sooner or later. And I think over near that me that mesa, there was a dry river near the Moltres Shrine. Which I flew over to, killed myself trying to see if I can get to spawn because I don't have a home bed set. And it turned out I don't spawn back there. <laughs> so we're going to head over here. There's a mesa biome, and we're going to look for the uh, dry river biome. And then camp out till nighttime kill some things, and then we can go get ourselves some sand dials. 
And that's the plan anyway. And we can also get Volcarona, because I think there's a lot of Volcarona over in the uh, Desert Mesa areas. This is a long ocean trip. I was not expecting this to actually be more travel time. Alright, come on. Oh, and then a note for anyone wondering about Articuno. We're still filling it up. The orb is about a quarter full. Only when you pick it up for some reason on my tech current texture pack does it actually give a texture. But I think that's because my texture pack's overriding Pixelmon's natural texture, so... Alright, we're here, and that actually may be a dry river right here. Dry river! Huzzah! We have found it. So, is this all just dry river? Perfect. So, if we wait till nightfall, and then go up and down this dry river, we're going to find a crew of sand dials. So, that's the plan. So, until then, we're gonna, we can wander around, look for a little bit of pokey loot, we can get some battles in. And, in general, just train up our Pokémon. Ow! Holy crap, I jumped high off that cactus. Now, Trap Inches are really, really good, because they're actually attack stats. So, I'm going to actually be grinding our Golden Magikarp off, off of Trap Inches, so that way we can raise his attack. Magikarp. And that little Kipper can finish off for us. Oh, look at that Magikarp go. Alright, so EVs. Five should give us... Five attack EVs. Perfect. Huzzah. Now the trick is I need to level him up very slowly against very low-level Trap Inches because I need him to actually evolve at 20 so I can actually learn Bite. Otherwise, Gyarados does not learn Bite at all. Ow, stop it. Alright, sun is going down, which is awesome. Which means we're, starting, we're going to start to see sand dials along this dry riverbed as night sets in. And then we can catch ourselves a sand dial. Or lots of sand dials, actually, because we're going to have to find one with a good attack nature. And that's about one out of every six or seven would have a good attack nature, so I'm going to need to really give that a shot. Well, except Naughty, it's not a terrible nature for a Sand Dial, but really, if I get a mo uh, Adamant, that's going to be perfect for me. So let's see what we can find. Come on, Sand Dial. Unfortunately, lots of other things spawn in dry riverbeds. We may have to lurk search for a little while before we find ourselves a Sand Dial. Um, yep, still in Dry River. Actually, this Dry River might go on for a little while. So that's actually pretty good. Whoa! That is the, like, most... Oh! Thank... I keep forgetting, with the new Minecraft, I've exchanged my, uh, crouch keys for Sprint. So Shift does not lo no longer crouches me along an edge. So I need to remember that. Oh, that's so bad. And you know what? I'm going to actually mark this new waypoint dry river. Just in case I die. I want to be able to come back here. Oh, these cactuses are going to get annoying. Can I just break these? Yeah, there we go. I'm going to clear out the cactus. So they don't keep running into the stupid things. Oh, I didn't really cascade a whole bunch of sand blocks into the valley. Alright, come on, Sand Dial. It is fully night. The moon is up. Show yourselves. Groupie. Cubone. Come on, we need some Sand Dials. Eagly Buff. Sand Slash. Come on, where's Sand Dial? Diglet. Come on, they should be all over the place. Rowlet's all over. 
Of course, we had to go looking for one of the good Pokemon that's just really, really hard to find. Uh, come on, Sandile. If I don't see a Sandile in a little bit, I'm just going to wander off and uh, look for the Volcarona instead. The Volcarona will spawn in the Desert Hills during the daytime, I believe, or dawn and dusk time, so that'll actually be a good uh, alternative thing to search for at the same time. This is still Dry River. Yep. Come on, Sandile. You know you want to spawn. Sand Shrew, Diglett. Okay, here's not so dry portion of the dry river, but I think it's still... Nope, now we're in normal desert. Ah! Why must you be so frustrating? Alright, we're getting back on Kiwi. So much for walking. Kiwi want a banana? Oops. Alright, hey, come on. On to Kiwi. How do I... Come on, Kiwi. There we go. Come on, there's got to be a sand dial here somewhere. It's either this, I go find a Desert M, which I know they spawn in. The Dry River they should be spawning in, but it may not be uh, registering any of these areas as valid spawn points. Skaroopy. I am not seeing any sand dial, and they totally should be all over the place. They are not a very rare spawning Pokemon. Alright, let's go find a Desert M, because obviously Sandile do not feel like cooperating with us. Luckily we do have a Mesa, so if we keep following the Mesa around, we'll find a lot of deserty areas anyway. And maybe some of them will be uh, Desert M. We just need to look for little water holes scattered all over the desert, and that's what signals Desert M versus Desert Kind of like a lot of volcanoes and random dry rivers, or partially dry rivers. Are these dry rivers? Yeah, we might be able to see a sand dial as we fly over. If we just keep staying low to the ground and just exploring. Nope, that's another Moltres shrine over here. So that's cool. We have the option of a couple different shrines. Mark that as a waypoint real quick. Moltres. Done. And we'll keep flying over this way. The worst part is I'm trying to have my map up, but I'm also trying to look at all the Pokemon on the ground at the same time. Kind of like driving while staring at a map. Boss! We have a boss! Alright, Boss Sand Slash. This is going to be a little bit trickier one. I'm hoping Little Kipper's Water Gun will do a dent to it, but it may not. Oh wow, that does nothing. Um, I'm going to be better off using Bide. Okay, Bide is not a good move for this. <sighs> yeah, I should have just been using Water Gun. Oh boy. Oh, you keep using Gyro Ball. That's perfectly fine. Oh, you Slash. Alright, Camera Upt. And rock would be terrible. I guess just take down. Oh, come on, don't miss. Come on. Earth power. Finally, a golden hammer and a max elixir. What a disappointing boss prize. Come on. Alright, Kiwi. Away we go. Oop, I see water patches. I see water patches to the north. That could be Desert M. Might not be, but it might be. Show me Desert M. Dry River. Oh, found some pokey loot. Well, we're finding everything we're not looking for today. <laughs> Ice heal! Why did my orb just get thrown out of my inventory? That is not cool. 
I need to be paying attention to that. I think that's my inventory tweaks reshuffling thing. All right, there's some water down over that way. Could be Desert M. I honestly am not really too sure what Desert M looks like beyond the tiny little picture I saw when I was coding the new biomes in. So, yeah. Could be way, way off on... The hell is that? Oh, it's Master Loot. Yay! More Pokey Loot. Moonstone. And I landed on a cactus. All right, well, we're finding bosses and loot, just no sand dials. Come on, how hard is it to compile a really, really good team? We in Desert M, Dry River. It's like these sand dials just do not want to spawn. Just to troll me. I'm wondering if Biomes of Plenty got rid of Desert M and replaced it with the Dry River. I'm hoping it doesn't, but it might. I don't know why a, a mod designed to make more biomes would ever get rid of a biome, but they were pretty similar in design. And it's now daytime, so our search is still is now kind of redundant because we can't get anything. All right, so we need to find Desert Hills now, so we can find a Volcarona in Desert Hills. Or maybe Mesa Hills. They might be there as well. So let's just head back to the Mesa. We're likely to find some more hilly desert in this direction anyway. Oh, more loot. More Moonstones. Not what we want. Um, F3 out. There we are. Yeah, this looks like it's just a mesa area with a little bit of desert surrounding it. It does not actually seem to be uh, much in the way of desert hills. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, look, another NPC village that we can go raid, and I can totally miss the blacksmith again because I do that every time we visit one of these villages. Um... So now I'm going to check each and every one of these houses so that I don't miss the blacksmith. Because apparently I am absolutely blind when it comes to identifying which house is the blacksmith's. You don't even have books. What a lame bill. Oh! This, I'm not sure this village is up to safety code. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a blacksmith in that one. Just double checking from the ceiling. Yep, doesn't look like there was one. So we will just take off again in hopes of finding Desert Hills. Ugh. I'm so bad at finding things. Like, when I actually set out looking for things, terrible things happen. When I'm sitting here grinding on Magikarp in a lake, I find a shiny Magikarp. It's just how the world works. Ooh, that's a cool underground waterfall cave. Let's fly down in there and take a look. the biggest cave I have right flying into water while cool dismounts you ow 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 suffocating the ceiling that's kind of a cool little cave oh damn it kiwi ow 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 damn it kiwi come on ow 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 okay caves not fun for flying. Not doing that again. And that's a trap inch in a tree. And we're back to where we started. I recognize this dry riverbed. Oh, man. Uh... Why can't this search be easy? I don't even see any Volcarona or Larvesta around, which is not a good sign. All right, well, I think I'm going to cut here until I actually find one of the biomes we're looking for, because this is stupid. <laughs> All right, so I found some desert hills after finding spawn. And hopefully, since it's just becoming evening right now, we'll get some Larvesta to spawn. That's actually a dungeon. 
It looks like somebody's already looted it because there's a staircase coming out of it. So, so much for getting dungeon loot. Not like much of it's worth anything, but it's always nice to have dungeon loots. Boop. Oh shit, I fell down. No. Oh, my obsession with knocking sand into uh, pits in the desert has foiled me once again. Kiwi, come on. Fly us back up, Kiwi. Alright, there we are. Need to eat something, otherwise I'm going to die to cactus. Alright, come on. Where is the Larvestas? I'm in Desert Hills. Are these things really that rare that I can't find sar sandiles or Larvestas? Yay, we found a Larvesta! Alright. Um, it's level 21. Let's get some Dusk Balls. And... Let's do... Alright, it is f fire and bug, so let me just maybe one... Oh, of course one takedown will insta-kill it. Lovely, okay. New plan. Um, Golet? Does Golet have any moves that are... My problem is all my Pokemon's moves are so strong now. Um, I think Mega Punch on Golet. No, because Golet's too high level too. Uh, I guess Little Kipper could just tackle it a bit. Yeah, I think Little Kipper is the better... Battle against new Larvestas. Finally find a Larvesta, then we kill it. I should have just thrown Pokeballs at it outside of battle. Ugh. I am failing in all kinds of ways today. Yeah, we're still in the Desert Hills. Oh man, that's gonna be like the only Larvesta we find tonight, isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna be so mad. Here, Larvesta, Larvesta. Where are you? Oh my gosh, I killed the only Larvesta that spawned. Oh, I hope they spawn all night, otherwise I'm in real trouble here. Come on, we need our Nurgle. Here he is, Larvesta. Geodudes, come on. Alright, I gotta be really careful with capturing from now on. Really? I fall down the hole again. Actually, that reminds me. One thing I really do need to do, other than, you know, actually flying on Kiwi so I can cover more ground and actually find a Vesta, is to catch a Cubone so I can learn False Swipe, which will make catching things a lot easier. Come on, show me a Larvesta. Oh, I can't believe I killed the only Larvesta. All the rage, all of it. This is so bad. Set out to find two different Pokemon, found only one of them, and then killed the only one we found. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think any more Larvesta are going to spawn until the uh, dawn cycle hits. So, I think I'm going to just call it here. And I'll probably spend, like, hours and hours of my time off camera waiting around until I can find some Larvestas to catch. And so, uh, I guess I'll be back next time, maybe. Hopefully we'll find a Larvesta. <laughs> oh, man. We'll see you next time.